Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux. And today we are going to uh, build a custom website using Hugo as a static site generator. And we're going to host this on GitHub. And further, we're going to change the DNS for a custom domain name or a custom URL, basically. All right, well, let's get this ready to go. Uh, so the very first thing for Hugo is that, let's go ahead and actually open up the uh, Go Hugo and go to their website here. Um, the very first thing you need is the uh, Go Lang because Hugo is written in Go. So if you don't have um, Go Lang installed on your Debian machine, you're going to need to do that. So, and not to mention, uh, if you look here at the Bullseye and Backports, I have bull, I have Backports installed. Oh, sorry, uh, enabled rather in our um, sources list. So, I'm going to sudo apt install Go Lang and then dash T and Bullseye. Uh, back ports. Now if you are on like um, testing or something like that obviously you're not going to need to do that but on this particular uh, test machine right now I only have well I have uh, bullseye installed. Okay so that's the first thing we're going to need is Golang. Now it's going to take a second. I did want to go ahead and install like a um, sorry for my voice. I, I think I've got some bronchitis or something like that. Anyway, um, I wanted to install Ghostwriter. I've noticed um, some other uh, YouTube content creators. They have, you know, they either use like Obsidian or some of these other things. I don't think I need anything other than like Ghostwriter. Ghostwriter looks pretty good to me and very simple to use. So um, we're going to install that as soon as the uh, Golang is done. There we go. And so let's in sudo <coughs> apt install Ghostwriter. And it looks like we can get a little bit uh, more current with the, um, sorry, the bullseye and the backboard. So I don't think we need testing, but we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to say, uh, Bullseye backports, and we're going to install that. So we've got a you know we've got an editor, we've got the Go Lang uh, going, and then if you go to um, the actual GitHub page for Hugo, they have um, they have binaries. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use the uh, latest Debian. Uh, that's not ARM. It's gonna be AMD uh, 64. Which I can't see. I guess I'm blind. Um, ARM. There we go. Right here. This one. So we're gonna download that, and then we're going to the downloads directory. And we've got a bunch of stuff here, actually, don't we? Um, so we're going to sudo uh, apt install and then dot slash Hugo. And there you go. Okay. Now, now I want to um, talk a little bit about my abilities with uh, Git and GitHub. Uh, I'm not good. And I get that fully aware. Uh, so what I use is a very probably non-technical uh, method to uh, push and pull from Git to my uh, machine. And I, what I do is I use GitHub Desktop, okay? And uh, most of the time it's like used for uh, Windows. Um, now, what I do usually is there's a one for Swift Key. So I do that uh, and I go to this particular website which is on GitHub, click on the desktop, and then I go to um, 
this Debian releases package here. Okay, so I go to releases. And I'll probably I'll put this in the description below, uh, and then you're going to see this particular um, Debian file. So same thing. We're going to sudo sudo apt install and then dot slash github and there you go now again I'm gonna set this up uh, as long as I can make sure that I'm not like making myself you know open for attack or anything or you know anything so I'm gonna pause for a second and see how that works real quick I, I won't you know let me go ahead and open it up real quick but github desktop and then let me go ahead and move that over to workspace 3 so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign in all right I'll sign in off camera um, but this is what I use for for my a bit you know my interaction with github Okay, we are logged in and ready to use our GitHub desktop. Now, we're not, we're not going to do it right this sec, but we are going back over to um, the, Git, the uh, Hugo website because as far as prereqs are concerned, we're gonna kind of follow the directions on this. Uh, we are gonna install Git, which is done, and now we're gonna create a Hugo site. So I'm gonna go over to the terminal and I am I have created a directory called websites okay so let's do that and let us Hugo new site and we're gonna call it Jag Linux okay now again following the directions we need a theme um, and so that is something that I really had a good time looking at. Now we looked at the, I looked at all these themes on the uh, gohugo.io website and actually used a few of them and modified them. Now the one I ended up picking for uh, Just a Guy Linux is I don't believe on this list. Uh, I found it on GitHub and Actually, it's this right here. So I will link in the description below in case you're wanting to uh, look at this. Um, and the demo uh, shows what it looks like. I just wanted something very simple uh, and something that you can change from um, light to dark mode. I am gonna change the color uh, for links because I do wanna use my kind of Debian colors for this particular website. Now, what we need is the uh, to clone this. So let's go over and we are in this JAG Linux directory. So we're going to CD into JAG Linux and we're also going into the themes directory. Now let's get clone and let's paste that particular uh, link and there you go so let's actually look at that uh, theme for a sec now luckily for us we have this example site uh, because this is kind of the configuration that we were just looking at when we uh, saw that demo site so you can kind of modify it to your needs by uh, changing the config.toml um, um, configuration file. Okay, so let me, let's go back into the, uh, the root directory for this website. Let's go over here to this quick start page. And the quick start page describes how you create a new post. So I'm gonna simply copy this and go back over into that root directory and let's, let's paste that. Now I'm gonna actually switch over to uh, Thunar. Uh, that's Genie, Thunar right here. Now, just to give you an idea, we are in the uh, root directory for the website. 
where did it put it? It put it in the uh, content posts directory. Uh, and so if we want, we can open this with Ghostwriter. And let's put that on four. And what you see is your sample post, putting in a date. Um, and the fact that it says true here would mean that that content will actually not show up in the website unless you say false or you simply remove the line altogether. So I'm just going to remove it and I'm going to go outside of this header area and just say hi. Okay. That's all I need. I'm just, this is sample content. I am not going to even come close to understanding Markdown for a while. So I have a rudimentary uh, knowledge of that. And I'm going to just save it, by the way. Now, let's go back over uh, to the, um, let's go back over to the root directory and let's say Hugo uh, server. Okay, uh, you know what I think the problem is? I'm gonna go see what it, uh, open link. And so, yeah, page not found. Now, I think the problem basically is that we're using the, uh, the TOML file that comes with the creation of that website. So, let us quickly fix this. Um, I'm gonna control C. Let's go back over to Thunar and let's go to the root. And I'm going to just rename this as, um, I don't know, back. It's fine. I'm going to go into the themes, Hugo, and example site. And I'm going to copy this, uh, config.toml. And I'm going to put it in that root uh, website directory. So in that JAG Linux directory. And let's try that again. Okay, let's uh, Hugo server. Um, oh, oh, okay, so there's a real, that's a problem. Look at that, ink not found. So maybe it's actually miss, um, it's actually miss, uh, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you what happened. <laughs> this is why you edit videos, right? Um, I think what happened is the config was wrong. Yep, see this right here? Actually, in that um, code for the configuration file, it misrepresented the wrong name because this is called Hugo hyphen ink. So when I caught when I save that, it should work. I'm gonna actually let me go ahead and close that. I don't need that anymore. And let's let's try that again. And there it goes. Okay. And I'm going to open the link. And let's go back over here. And there is our local hosted uh, website. And our first blog post, which is just simply hi. Okay. Now. One of the cool things you can do is actually edit on the fly. So it will actually represent uh, changes made to the configuration uh, live. So let's say I want to change um, this param. So I am looking at crisp, minimal, personal, blog theme, blah, blah, blah. And if I go over to the code and I say, uh, um, not an expert period uh, just whoop just I can't even spell just a guy there we go and then close the quote and save it now let's go over here not an expert just a guy okay now there are a few things that I am going to do most likely off camera uh, what I think um, good grief, I can't even think. So what I think is I, I don't want this copyright notice, so I might have to change 
the, um, the footer file. Now that footer file is going to be obviously in the themes, uh, Hugo, and I think it's going to be under, well, this for sure. So it's under the static directory, under the themes st uh, static directory, at least for this, uh, there are CSS files. Now, uh, this CSS, uh, notice that the uh, background for dark, I think, is that, yeah, that lavender color, okay? So I am going to change all of these uh, 9375 FDs to the uh, kind of that raspberry Debian color, okay? So I'm going to do that in this particular file, this dark CSS, and probably in this um, main CSS, I'll have to look. But these are the things that you would want to, um, these are things that you would want to change if you were going to edit the uh, colors or, or anything like that. Now, as far as layouts, uh, partial, there, there's that footer file. So uh, this is again under the theme and the theme name and layouts partials footer. Again, this would be where I would change that copyright for, uh, for putting in basically whatever I want in that uh, in that space okay so what I'm gonna do is I'll probably do some of this stuff off camera I won't change any of the um, yeah I might change some content so I'll see you in, in a minute okay now here is the edited uh, Tomo file this configuration file and I did change a few things the, the values for paginate the title um, and the avatar, which I use, you know, Gravatar is for, for WordPress sites. I am going to use that image. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Um, and then I changed all my socials to reflect just a guy Linux. And I don't know that I've changed anything here, but regardless, you get the idea. The menu items can be weighted and you can change them any way you want okay so I included an about page and I actually removed that uh, that one post that was just a sample okay now as far as the CSS um, I changed that kind of uh, periwinkle color whatever you want to call it to this raspberry color and I did that in uh, two files the dark CSS and the main CSS, okay? Now, what does it look like? It looks like this, okay? And I think that's fair. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad about it, you know? And when you uh, look at a, this blog post, because I just made a, uh, I made a, um, a video on micro text editor and um, I wanted to, I thought it was simple to have a, uh, um, a posting about that and by the way you can change colors to a light theme or a dark theme and actually I have uh, I have images for this so I, I need to figure out what the problem is with that um, and so let me uh, let me pause for a sec now I added the images and I put them in the um, static directory. Let me show you. Um, so under the static directory, I put these two images. And uh, when I referred to them, I referred to them basically in the markdown as uh, slash and then the name of the image. Now, be aware that this may not work once we have uploaded our files uh, or pushed our files to GitHub, okay? I'm actually not expecting it to work. Uh, so we will have to maybe change some stuff uh, once it's there just so that we, uh, so that it actually uh, is viewable, okay? But as for right now, with looking at this, um, uh, this internal website, it is fine okay now 
Let's go back over to our um, hosting on GitHub page and let us create a, a GitHub repository. Now, there's several steps here. So we're going to go to new. Oh, I actually deleted one. Okay. Um, and we're going to call it just a guy linux.github.io. Okay. And I'm going to add the readme and create this repository. Now, um, you're going to, I am going to go back over and I'm going to clone this and here we go and let's clone and there it is. Okay. Now we need to change, oop, cancel. Let me go ahead and close some of this stuff. Sorry. This is the base URL up until now has been just an example. Okay. And so what we need to do is change it to uh, this HTTPS colon and the uh, slash slash and then the name of your username on GitHub as well as the uh, website that you want to uh, push to. Okay. So it's going to be .io and then also .io. Um, this is the way, um, this, this is just the way it will work uh, when you, all is said and done and, and you'll understand why soon. Okay. Now, I'm going to my, um, I'm going to go ahead and just open up a new window. And here is where we just cloned. It's the, uh, in the documents GitHub directory, and there is the README file that we just used, uh, that we just downloaded from GitHub. Um, it, under my websites directory, uh, you're going to see this Jag Linux. Now, be aware that if you cloned something like a theme, there might be a um, a Git folder in there and you might want to just delete it okay do that before you copy everything over to your um, to your github page or to yeah to your github repository so I'm gonna cop I'm just gonna say control a and I'm going to copy control a copy and now let's go ahead and paste everything right there okay now, um, I think it's under three. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and um, say uh, init commit and hit that and let's push. Okay. Now, let's go back over um, and let's refresh and you'll see all the files that we just uh, we, that we just pushed. Now I want to make sure that we follow this step by step, okay? And uh, make sure that when you do this, if you're following the directions, you kind of follow everything um, the way it, it's described on the Get Go Hugo website. All right. So um, we're going to go to the settings pages. So settings, pages, and we're going to this GitHub Actions and click that. Okay. Now, what else? Um, we are going to create this file, uh, the hugo.yaml file. Okay. And I'm going to actually, let me go ahead and, ref there we go. So we're going to go to... Um, you know what we're going to do is we're going to go to the GitHub. I should probably, yeah, let's, let's do that. Um, I'm going to this, yeah, this is not right. Sorry. Okay. Um, let me go in and just, uh, go to and create a folder and we're going to call it, uh, dot, is it GitHub? Oh, hello, dot github, and then, what was it called? Workflows, there we go. 
sorry, I'm really all over the place. So we're going to create a folder called workflows. And then we're going to create a uh, document that's called uh, hugo.yaml. And we're going to open that with Genie. And I think all we have to do is, oh, nope, not, not that. Uh, let's go back over here. We're going to copy this and there we go. And I'm going to paste that there and we're going to save it. Okay. Now let's make sure I, I it was kind of funky the way I just did it, but dot GitHub workflows, Hugo dot YAML. And we're going to call now again, before you uh, push this, I'm going to follow the direction and say, um, add workflow. Okay. So let's go back and say, add workflow and commit and let's push. Okay. Now let's go back over to our directions and it should deploy. So click on the commit message as, as above and you will see this. So let's go back over to this and under actions, uh, it added the workflow and is now in progress. So you can see that it, it, it's actually running. And it's changed to queued. And it's done. Okay. So let's go back over to settings and pages. Okay. And now when we look at the top of this um, page, it says your site is live at this particular URL. Well, let's see it. And there you go. Now notice it did not do what I thought it would. I, I, I kind of said that it was not going to work well with the images. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But overall, I'm very happy because we've got an active website that is resolving. Okay, so so I paused the video. Actually, this is the next day. The problem I have is I'm sick as a dog, but <clears throat> I wanted to say that I did figure out. Now, is this the best way? No, I'm guarantee you it's not the best way to do this. And I hope that somebody smarter than me will let me know a better way to do this. Uh, but the images are coming in. And I'll, let me explain what I did to get the images to come in um, on, the, on the individual page. So I put an images folder um, in my GitHub static and then images. I just created a uh, images folder or directory inside of static. Now static is something that is used by Hugo when you are basically building all your pages. So I don't understand why it's working the way it is. However, if I put this images directory within static and then put my images in there. At the same time, I'm actually changing the page to reflect a slash, so basically root images and then the name of the image in my post. Then those images come in. I hope that is understandable uh, for somebody. I, I just know that this will work. So I have a slash images slash uh, name of the image but that slash images is actually not in the, um, the images directory that's part of root. It's actually in the images directory, which is part of static. Okay, so this does work, just letting you know. And I don't know if you saw, but basically I've got my actual URL, which is just a guy Linux, uh, dot com to resolve. How did I do that? Okay. 
Well, I'm going to go to Settings and then Pages. And I put in um, the Just a Guy Linux custom domain in here. Now, what you have to do is change the your DNS uh, to reflect the A record uh, for GitHub. So if you look in the documentation, you're going to find A records, uh, which will explain that. I didn't necessarily want to show you uh, with to see because you know, I didn't want everybody to see what domain names I have and stuff like that. Um, I use actually, um, well, it doesn't matter. So uh, I, I just changed the A records for Just a Guy Linux, and now it is resolving. So that when I click on that, that is basically a C name for uh, the, the uh, GitHub repository that we created in the beginning of this, of this video. Anyway, um, that's, this is how you create a website in GitHub using GitHub Pages and uh, changing it so that your custom URL works. All right, thanks a lot. Hope this somebody found this uh, interesting or uh, beneficial, and I'll see you soon.